embarking on the journey of wisdom is like navigating the less traveled road, a road that's not just different but incredibly rewarding. Think of it like planting seeds in the quiet corners of your life, away from prying eyes, allowing them to sprout and flourish without unnecessary interference. Enter the wisdom of the Stoics, those great thinkers of history. They weren't in a rush to flaunt everything they knew. They understood the value of guarding and nurturing ideas within themselves before exposing them to the world. It's the art of not oversharing, because as they knew, too much revelation could dilute the true essence of experiences. Every joy, every sadness, every lesson, and every challenge we face is a piece of the unique story we're composing. If we share everything indiscriminately, we risk losing the depth of our experiences. Much like a flower that struggles to grow if constantly touched, our personal growth thrives in a space of privacy, a space where we reflect on our mistakes and victories, charting our course forward in the best way possible. Not sharing something isn't about hiding, it's about safeguarding. True growth emerges from the delicate balance between what we reveal and what we hold close to our hearts. In a world that loves to flaunt every detail, recognizing and appreciating the profound reasons behind our achievements can be challenging. Stay tuned for this video where we delve into 11 crucial subjects that we recommend keeping to yourself. Each topic is vital, and by the end of the video, you'll understand why. Let's uncover the wisdom together. The first secret is, don't talk about your deepest dream. Imagine you're cradling a delicate seed in your palm, a seed that holds your deepest dreams and fervent aspirations. How would you shield it from the harsh winds and storms that threaten its growth? The Stoics, those ancient philosophers with wisdom as profound as Yoda's, had a brilliant answer. They viewed our goals and dreams as these precious seeds meant to be planted deep within the fertile soil of our souls, far from the tempests of others' opinions and criticisms. Because let's face it, who hasn't seen the flame of a dream flicker and fade when exposed to the cold winds of skepticism or the scorching heat of ridicule? In the realm of Stoic philosophy, self-sufficiency is celebrated like an MVP trophy. True wisdom, genuine accomplishment, it's not about showcasing a shiny chalice for all to see. No, it's about having an internal well from which you can perpetually draw inspiration. Why seek fleeting external approval when the rich landscapes of purpose and fulfillment lie within the recesses of your own mind? It's like trying to find a gourmet meal at a fast food joint. You're just not going to get the same satisfaction. And here's a little nugget of wisdom from the Stoics. Silence is the virtue that speaks volumes. They recognize the fine line between healthy ambition and arrogance. Choosing to be hush-hush about our grandiose goals isn't an act of shyness. It's a deliberate choice to walk with humility, sidestepping the pride that can blind us in the end. The stoic legacy is like a heartfelt whisper to the soul. You don't need to shout your dreams from mountaintops. Instead, cradle them, nurture them, and witness their flourishing in silent, majestic glory. This safeguard isn't a call to hide. It's an invitation to rediscover the strength within, acknowledging that sometimes the most precious treasures are the ones we keep, just for ourselves. As the Stoics say, it's not about the noise you make, but the depth you reach. So, let your dreams grow in the quiet chambers of your being, and watch them become the silent orchestrators of your most glorious life. 2. Don't talk about your achievements. Ever noticed how the Stoics were like soul divers, plunging into the mysterious depths of their own beings? For them, wisdom and virtue weren't about flashy victories, but a profound journey into the silent landscapes of the spirit. It's like they understood life's challenges are fought in the quiet corners, not on public stages. They had this cool habit of not bragging about their wins. Instead, they dropped these nuggets of wisdom, warning us about ego and vanity. Those two troublemakers can mess up our path to true virtue. Stoics believe that the more we chase external recognition, the more we're chained to pride stuck in the applause chase, a road leading straight to disappointment. But here's the stoic gem. Real achievement isn't about stopping for applause, it's about quietly transforming the community. They believed in hoarding noble values, not wealth in vaults,
But in the deep, calm sea of the soul, instead of throwing grand parties for their triumphs or sulking in defeats, they embrace life's wild dance with a serene acceptance. In the profound silence of this dance, they made a deliberate choice. Their commitment, genuine greatness. They saw the beauty in living with integrity, dedicating themselves to the collective. Stoics left us with a legacy that whispers, humility, sincerity, and an unending pursuit of wisdom are the true pillars of a life worth living. As the Stoic saying goes, we have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. Now, that's a wisdom hack worth sharing. 3. Don't discuss your resentment. Ever found yourself caught in an emotional web, each strand a bitter memory or lingering grudge? Stoicism, with its timeless wisdom, teaches us to shed the weight of resentment. For these ancient philosophers, harboring resentment was like dragging an anchor through the seas of life, hindering the free sail of the spirit. Picture this, a less trodden path where forgiveness and understanding are your trusty sidekicks. In the Stoic realm, virtue and self-control take the spotlight. Ever carried a burden for too long, felt weariness, exhaustion, and that bitter aftertaste of resentment, that invisible chain limiting your freedom and inner peace. Guess what's fascinating? Resentment often sprouts from misunderstanding, locking us in a bitter cycle. The Stoics advise digging into the roots of others' actions, understanding before judging. So forgiveness isn't just a kind gesture, it's a profound act of wisdom unraveling the mysteries of the human soul and liberating us from negativity's chains. Why? because anger and resentment are silent poisons, fiery flames that devour tranquility. On the flip side, choosing forgiveness and understanding creates an oasis of serenity and peace. Stoic wisdom echoes a universal truth. Forgiveness is the key to our own freedom. It guides us through emotional storms, offering refuge in the harbor of serenity. So, let's embrace this lesson. Sometimes, the mightiest strength lies in letting go freeing ourselves from the chains of the past and sailing towards a horizon of understanding and peace. Remember, as Epictetus wisely said, it is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste much of it. Don't waste your time on resentment. Set sail towards a serene horizon. 4. Don't talk about others. Avoid the gossip game. Just zip it. Criticizing others is like tossing stones into a calm lake. Picture it. The serene water disturbed by ripples, the Stoics knew better than to waste their precious energy on judgments and criticisms, knowing these were distractions from their internal peace. So instead of playing the blame game, they extended a hand of empathy and compassion. They understood that every person is a universe, battling their own internal and external wars, celebrating victories and enduring defeats. To the Stoics, criticizing someone was like turning a blind eye to the rich complexity of the human experience. They saw that instead of building bridges, criticism often built walls, disrupting the quest for tranquility and harmony. Stoic wisdom echoes through time, reminding us to be guardians of our words and thoughts. Let's not get caught up in pointing fingers. Rather, let's turn our gaze inward, seeking growth and virtue. In a world quick to criticize, Stoic teachings inspire us to embrace understanding, acceptance and kindness. So let's toss stones of empathy into the lake of humanity and savor the waves of positivity they create. As the Stoics would say, guard your words as you guard your gold. Imagine walking the Stoic path to wisdom and virtue, each step filled with meaning, every stumble shaping the contours of your soul. These weren't just hurdles, they were the chisels carving your character, revealing the true nature of grandeur. It wasn't the visible triumphs that counted, but the invisible internal battles that defined your inner strength. Yet, in this journey, the Stoics advised. Number five, don't talk about challenges not overcome. Wait, what? If these struggles held such profound value, why the silence? The Stoics, with their razor-sharp perception of human nature, understood the pitfalls of ego and pride. They knew that boasting about challenges not conquered could cloud our vision, blinding us to true virtue. The relentless pursuit of external recognition might just be the veil that hides our untapped potential. For the Stoics, it wasn't about flaunting achievements like trophies. They sought true glory in acts that elevated humanity, rooted in values like justice, generosity, 
and wisdom. Real wealth wasn't in the glint of gold, but in the radiance of a morally upright character and a tranquil soul. This philosophy embraced the idea of loving fate, a fundamental understanding that Stoics didn't despair in adversity. Instead, they balanced the taste of victory and defeat with equanimity, fully aware that life's tapestry is woven with threads often beyond our control. In the wise words of the Stoics, don't let your struggles become a public spectacle. Let your virtues quietly speak for themselves. After all, true strength lies not in the noisy echoes of challenges overcome, but in the silent resilience that shapes a noble character. So let your actions roar louder than words, and let virtue be your truest proclamation. Numero says, don't talk about your good deeds. Picture this, you've got a candle, not just any candle, a silent ninja candle that lights up a room without making a fuss. It's all chill, unobtrusive, yet it warms and illuminates everything. Now, that's kindness for the Stoics. Like this ninja flame. They believed in a kind of generosity that doesn't scream for attention. No public squares or mountaintop shouting, thank you very much. True kindness, they said, is a genuine, subtle thing. No need for a parade. Now, why might this sound weird in our hashtag everything culture? Because the Stoics were onto something the danger of turning kindness into a Broadway show. If we flaunt every good deed, we might just be craving applause, and who doesn't, right? But here's the stoic mic drop moment. Keep your kindness on the down low. Anonymity is your cloak of power. Why? Because in that secret moment, you reflect. Was it a legit act of goodness or just a sneaky quest for praise? It's like a secret self-audit, folks, a VIP pass to personal improvement. Stoic philosophy spills the tea. Real kindness doesn't need the spotlight. It's in those quiet, authentic acts of compassion. This ancient wisdom wraps us in its cozy embrace, reminding us of a basic truth. Sometimes the biggest kindness is the one you give without expecting a high five in return. In the context of Stoicism, these 11 secrets symbolize the aspects of our lives that we can control. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can change and let go of what we can't. By keeping these secrets, we're not bottling up our emotions, but rather, we're choosing to deal with them internally, fostering resilience and emotional fortitude. Number seven, don't talk about your next steps. Imagine a chess master in action, silent, strategic, and utterly mysterious. The Stoics, inspired by this essence, chose to play their life's game like a chess match. Why spill the beans on every move when you can keep your strategies under wraps? shielding yourself from the unpredictable whirlwinds of external judgment. In the heart of Stoic philosophy beats the virtue of self-sufficiency. Why crave the fleeting applause of an audience when true strength lies in the inner theater of the mind? Stoics knew that by keeping their life strategies close, they weren't just hiding plans. They were fortifying their inner core, confident and independent of the swirling tides of opinion. Enter humility, a subtle yet mighty quality the Stoics held dear. Broadcasting grandiose strategies could easily be misconstrued as arrogance, a triumphant trumpet of superiority. The Stoics, opting for discretion, found the sweet spot between ambition and humility. Their steps were steady, not presumptuous. So what's the Stoic tradition's gift to us? A rich perspective on the value of secrecy. It goes beyond strategy. It's a way to fortify our being honor our self-sufficiency, and walk with humility in a world obsessed with external validation. In essence, the Stoics beckon us to look inward, discover our internal compass, and confidently tread our own path with wisdom. As they say, it is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste much of it. Let's not waste it seeking external validation, but find strength in the fortress of our own purpose. Rule number eight. Let's talk about the wisdom in keeping quiet about unlearned lessons. Now we've all been there. Universal truth, right? Mistakes are like the background music of life, playing in the rhythm of our existence. But here's the plot twist. It's not about the mistake itself, it's about how you dance to that tune. For our stoic pals, these moments weren't opportunities for a dramatic facepalm. They were like hitting the aha button. Mistakes were their stepping stones to revelation and growth. Unlike our modern stage where everyone seems to be a star, the Stoics weren't playing that game. They tell us to hug our mistakes, not like embarrassing relatives, but as buddies on the road to self-improvement. Now, in today's world, 
we often feel like we're on a relentless red carpet, showcasing only the glamorous parts of our lives and throwing the embarrassing bits into the closet. But the Stoics, oh, they were the real influencers. Instead of flashing their failures, they chose the VIP section of self-reflection. Each failure wasn't a dead-end street. It was a new chapter, a plot twist in the epic saga of virtue and wisdom. Think of it like an artist who accidentally spills paint on their canvas. What seems like a disaster becomes an integral part of the masterpiece. Similarly, the Stoics turned their failures into the building blocks of personal growth. In a world that's practically shouting its life story from the rooftops, the Stoics pull us into a different corner, the corner of quiet dignity. They remind us of the beauty in holding back, in introspection, and the powerful elegance of silence. As the Stoic saying goes, it is the power of the mind to be unconquerable. So, why spill the beans when you can plant them and grow a garden of wisdom? Number 9. Step into the vast forest of life, where doubts loom like trees and uncertainties cast shadows. Picture it. Each tree a doubt, each shadow an uncertainty. Now imagine shouting your hesitations to the world. It's like exposing a lighthouse to a torrential rain. The light silently extinguishes. The Stoics teach us a different way, a path of silent introspection. Rather than flaunting our doubts like a flag, we seek answers within our own souls. At the core of Stoic philosophy lies the recognition that confidence isn't a show for the world. It's an inner beacon guiding our way. Revealing doubts to the world is like exposing that lighthouse. It can silently extinguish. To stand firm against the opinions and judgments of others, we need the solidity of modesty. Modesty, far from being just an external virtue, becomes a shield that protects the spirit. Bearing all uncertainties openly can strip the soul of its dignity. Hence, the Stoic advice. Choose wisely when and with whom you share your vulnerabilities. In a world clamoring for answers, the Stoics remind us of the power of silence and introspection. Deep answers often resonate in the quiet chambers of the heart and mind. By holding certain uncertainties close, we cultivate deeper reflection and a more intimate connection with our essence. In summary, Stoic wisdom whispers amidst the storms of doubt. No need to shout your uncertainties to the world. Embrace silence, modesty and introspection, finding a safe route through the forest of uncertainties. Let the internal beacon of your confidence and understanding guide you. This is the power of silent self-reflection that the Stoics bequeath to us. As they say, we have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. 10. Don't talk about your deepest plans ever had that moment when you spill all your ambitious plans to your friends and suddenly it feels like you've broadcasted your life on a giant billboard. Stoicism teaches us a different game plan. The Stoics weren't shy about their dreams, but they sure knew how to play it cool. They treated their ambitions like delicate seeds. You don't see farmers throwing seeds into a storm, right? The Stoics got it. Plans need a safe space to sprout. So here's the secret sauce. Silence is your superpower. Stoics weren't silent because they had nothing to say. They were silent because they knew the magic happens in the quiet. In a world where we Snapchat our breakfast, Stoicism says, hold up, not everything needs a spotlight. Why? Because discretion isn't weakness. It's a flex. It's about creating a cocoon where your dreams can evolve, away from the storms of doubt, envy, and the ever-watchful eye of public opinion. In the chaos of today, the Stoics toss us a gem, let your achievements do the talking. Cultivate your dreams in a secret garden. Remember, silence isn't emptiness, it's potential, a canvas waiting for your masterpiece. As the Stoics would say, wise is he who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. So hush hush dream big, and let your success scream louder than your words. 11 on the list. Spare yourself the chatter about your alone time. While the world rushes to fill every moment with buzz and banter, the Stoics were like, hold up, let's find strength in silence. For them, solitude wasn't an empty space to cram, but a sanctuary where the mind could boogie without the chains of other people's opinions. Contrary to what you might think, the Stoics were the cool kids who embraced solitude. In their moments of retreat, they weren't lonely. 
They were plugged into this rich inner universe bursting with insights. It was in this zen-like stillness that the deepest thoughts surfaced, free from the pollution of external noise. Fast forward to today, where social media validation is like currency. Stoic philosophy steps in with a reality check. It's time to reconsider our priorities. By stepping away from the constant need for the spotlight, we discover a space where our soul can catch its breath. And guess what? In that deep silence, we uncover the sweet melody of our essence, a tune that doesn't need to be blasted on the interwebs, but felt in its pure, unadulterated truth. As the Stoics would say, in tranquility, we find our true strength. The benefits of this more Stoic lifestyle are manifold. It encourages personal growth by promoting introspection and self-improvement. It fosters inner peace by helping us let go of external validation and societal pressures. And it cultivates resilience as we learn to navigate life's storms with grace and composure. In essence, these secrets are not about hiding from the world, but rather about cultivating a private garden where we can nurture our growth away from the prying eyes of society. They're the stepping stones on our journey towards becoming more stoic, more resilient, and ultimately, more at peace with ourselves. So, as we wrap up this journey, remember, embrace your secrets, embody stoicism, and embark on a journey of self-discovery, growth, and inner peace.